Hey guys, so it's me here. Um, I am actually reshooting this video because I had to, the sound really wasn't coming out all of that well. There was all like noise in the background, so I just decided to edit it a bit. Um, so yeah, I am wearing like this purple lipstick. Um, I think I got it from Sephora, maybe, but I also got like my hair cut. It's like a more mohawk thing, I'm trying to grow that out. But basically, I kind of wanted to talk about my views on the whole bathroom issues because I've been seeing this around a lot, and I feel like it's I really this is something I really want to put my two cents in about. So for those of you that somehow don't know, there are states that are trying to make it so that transgender individuals or gender non-binary individuals, you know, people who fall under the trans umbrella have to use the bathroom of the sex that they were assigned at birth. And this is causing a lot of problems for trans people um, because... Doing most people by now, a lot of people have gone through the transition process. See, me, I'm still in starting it off, but there are people who are going through the like beginning stages. I mean, who have already gone through it already, and so to tell them that they have to use the bathroom of their assigned sex will put them in danger because you this is gonna most likely mean women going into men's bathrooms which could result in them getting hurt or harassed and vice versa so people are trying to enforce this upon us and basically tell us you know we can't use the bathroom of how we identify and the main problem that they're trying to raise with this that they're trying to do with this issue is that they feel like this will protect women and children from being raped or harassed. Now, my thoughts on this are, one is the straight up BS because trans people have been using the bathroom with cisgender people for an extremely long time. And there have really not been any problems. Now, all of a sudden, people want to try to say, well, oh, trans people are going to it's just men dressing up as women to harass your children, and that's straight up bullshit. I can't stand this method, this ideology that people have, and it's it's just stupid. You know, it's not about the safety of women and men. It's it's per, it's plainly outright it's not. Um, and then because it's, all it is is about discriminating against transgender people, and people can say whatever they want about it. Bottom line is. This is an issue that, that's all of a sudden now coming up. Now states want to decide, well, we're going to make it so you can't do this. Trans people are not trans people are not in there to harass children. We are just in there because we have to pee, poop, do whatever. And so every time I hear people comment on this, I'm just thinking to myself, then you don't understand what transgender is you don't understand what gender non-binary you don't understand what any of the terms under the umbrella of trans it are because if they did they wouldn't just say well oh, a man going in there dressed up as a woman or last kids well that's a trans person that's not a trans person at all maybe a cross-dresser but the bottom line is that's just a pervert period um and people have been doing that for years where they'll try to, anything to get inside the women's bathroom um, and funny thing is, when I hear this, I never then hear them talking about, well, oh, we need to protect our little boys and stuff from trans people that might try to get in there and, and harass them. My mind immediately just, um, explodes when I think about this because there are actual people that we need to be concerned about who are out there molesting children, who are out there harming children. Trans people are not in that group of people at all. The people that need that you need to be concerned about are them priests and Catholic priests and shit that's raping them little boys. And we know for a fact that this is doing it. This isn't just me spouting off BS. Um, and so instead of going after people who really are a threat, 
you're coming after us, people who really have no interest whatsoever in doing any of this crap that they're just spewing out. And so every time I go on Facebook or I hear about, you know, this bad, this whole bathroom thing is just under, I mean, it's just upsetting. And what these people who are making these laws don't understand is that this is not, this is not just affecting trans individuals. This is affecting people who don't, who also don't fit society standards of a woman or a man. You have grown men following women to the bathroom and they're using the excuse of, well, I was just making sure that she was actually a woman. Um, you have women who are being prevented from going into the bathroom because they look because they're dressed masculine, masculinely, or people can't automatically as, as figure out what their um, gender is because of the way they dress. You know, this isn't just affecting us; this is affecting cis people as well who do not fit society standards of a man and a woman. And so, bottom line is, this whole law shit is bullshit, and. This is something that I'm glad to see that people are lashing out against. There are companies that are withdrawing their services. There are, um, I think there are legal entities that are saying, no, this is, this, this is violating people's civil rights. You need to stop this. There are, inter there are movie enterprises that are pulling out of those states that decide to do that. And so this is where I pretty much am going to finish the video because this really isn't much more to say. The um, idea that trans people are just trying to sneak in the bathrooms to harass women, rape women and children or girls. And you say nothing about the boys. Um, it's crap. We just need to go pee. And that's the bottom line. There's nothing else to it. The idea that um, men, men should be allowed to trail women to the bathroom just to see if they have the right parts is perverted. All this bill is doing, all this, all this is doing is allowing the actual perverts to become more perverted, to be able to justify stalking women to the bathroom, to, to be able to justify men looking at, um, you know, just violating women's personal, trans women's personal space or gender non people who don't conform to any specific gender, violating their personal space. So with that, I'm going to let you all... Put down in the comments below what you think of this whole um, bathroom situation. And if you like the video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will catch you guys later.